Hey guys, my name's Doug with OEMAutopartsCo.com and OBDGenie.com. Today we're in the late model 2014 plus um, Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra. This dash uh, looks familiar to a lot of you. It's the IO4 option code radio. And uh, what you guys don't have most likely is a rear camera. Well today we're going to show you a plug and play rear camera solution to activate rear camera on your display. We'll send you a plug and play rear tailgate handle camera and the OBD Genie stick which will program the system to enable rear camera. This is all plug and play, no dealer involvement will be required. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how to do it. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove this tailgate handle. We're going to replace it with ours. Um, so we're going to want to remove the T15 Torx screws that are on the back of the tailgate here. Now we just pull up on the liner, if you have the liner. Set that aside. Then you can move, remove this tailgate plate. And that gives you access to the two um, pole bars here. Okay, we're going to want to remove these pole rods here by moving the clip back and then lifting up on the pole bars. We'll do that on both and set that aside. Then we just need to remove these two 10 millimeter screws. Then we're gonna to wanna to push these two retaining clips inward to release the handle from the tailgate. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is remove this lock cylinder from the original tailgate handle and put it in our tailgate handle. In order to do that, you just need to remove this little clip here, remove the clip from ours, and then put the lock take the lock mechanism out of this handle, stick it in here, and then push the clip back into place. Now that the clip is removed, we're just going to pull the locking mechanism out and insert it into the replacement tailgate handle. You can then reinstall the clip. Now what we're going to want to do is feed the connector through the tailgate, the inner shell. There's a hole here and then an access hole here, here in the uh, bed. And then what we're going to do is route it down and down to the connector. Now that it's through the tailgate shell, we're gonna insert it into the back of the bed, into the hole, and we're gonna pull it down from the bottom. Now we'll insert the new tailgate handle with the built-in camera into the slot. You'll hear it clip in with those retaining clips and we just replace the same two 10 millimeter screws. Now as we did before, we want to reinsert the pole bars and snap it into place. We can now reassemble the tailgate bed the exact way we disassembled it. Right next to your spare tire, you'll see this port here, um, this panel. You'll see a series of connectors. The third from the right is going to be your rear camera port. So what you can want to do is if you have a dummy connector installed, just go ahead and remove that and then plug in the rear camera. You could slide the tab in to keep it from coming out. This now completes the rear camera installation. The last step in order to program your radio screen to show the rear camera, we're going to use the OBD2 Genie. All you have to do is plug it into the OBD2 port and let it work its magic. 
Now that we have everything installed, I'm gonna show you now how to program this actual IO4 option code uh, system for rear camera. You'll notice right now, nothing happens whenever the vehicle is pressed or replaced in reverse. So what we're gonna do now is insert the OBD Genie stick into the OBD2 port. And let it work its magic. You know the system resetting. Now that it's been resetting, put the vehicle in reverse. Now we have rear camera. You'll notice also the movable grid lines, which moves in conjunction with your steering wheel. All plug and play using our, our OBD Genie and our plug and play tailgate camera. Come reach out to us, oemautopartsco.com for more information or to order, or check out obdgenie.com. Thanks for watching.